What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So on today's video, we're talking about just that. We're gonna talk about some of my favorite tools and just stuff that I recommend for anybody, whether you are a beginner, a DIYer, um, somebody who's very advanced, these tools will all benefit everyone that's watching this video. So we're gonna run down through them today and I'm gonna show you exactly why I like them and then we're gonna talk about the price and where you can get them. So let's get right into it. So the first thing up on the uh, chopping block is the Vaughn Super Bar. Now this is the Vaughn Super Bar XL. Uh, I recommend for those starting out to get the 14 inch version. The 14 inch version is about $14 and can be had at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. I think you can even find it on Amazon. I'm gonna put links in the description below for everybody that's looking to get um, some of these products or you just want to look into them further, by all means, the links are in the description. So uh, one thing I like about the Super Bar is just the angle of this shoe down here. So a lot of pry bars have a lot to be desired and that they don't have a lot of leverage. So these are bent up in the perfect angle to have the perfect amount of leverage and uh, you know range of motion here. Uh, you will find a lot of pry bars don't have this curved up enough, so when you're trying to pry on something, you run out of room down here where it hits the floor or hits the wall wherever you're trying to pry. So if you are looking to you know, open a window that's been stuck with paint, um, open a, uh, you know, open a door that's been stuck, um, not stealing anything, but uh, maybe trying to raise a door up or bend a hinge, these things come in handy. Doing any type of flooring project, I highly recommend the Vaughn Super Bar. So next up is the Lufkin Shock Force. Um, I've done videos on a couple of these things. A lot of these are awesome tools under $30 that I have a playlist to, uh, and I fully believe in these items. So this is the Night Eye. It has the black tape with the neon green lettering. So this Lufkin comes in at $30. Um, you can usually get it from, uh, I think most of the time these are sold at Lowe's. You can also buy them on Amazon. It's made by Crescent or Lufkin. I'm a big fan of Crescent stuff. Um, and they bought out Lufkin. I don't know, there's, there's a whole uh, menagerie between the two companies there, but it's now Crescent Lufkin. So I really enjoy this tape measure. It's really strong and you know, it's a tape measure. It's going to get the job done. Uh, next up is a set of Greenlee diagonal cutters. Uh, these diagonal cutters have the sweep to them, so they're high leverage. Um, these are rather expensive, but you can get these for around $30. Uh, I bought these from, uh, from Menards when I got them, and they are my go-to plier. So whether you're cutting zip ties, cutting twine, uh, little art projects, anything around the house, um, all the way up to stripping wire, these are absolutely crucial to have. So sometimes I even use these as pliers uh, for gripping things and prying things, and they've held up great. So I really enjoy these pliers. I think they are pretty much the best diagonal cutters that you can get. Um, the only exception being Nipex, and the Nipex are uh, they have a little bit to be desired, and I think these take the cake. So I highly recommend these if you're looking for any kind of cutter or uh, diagonal cutter. Now, next up, something that needs to be in everybody's toolbox is an adjustable wrench. So a nice eight inch adjustable wrench is where it's at. Um, this will get you in most places. This will uh, basically adjust out to just about anything that you're trying to do. So the eight inch is a great option for just about anybody that needs an adjustable wrench. If you're getting into something that needs more than an eight inch, they make them in various lengths all the way up to Heck, they probably even make a 48 inch version. So uh, there's some big crescent wrenches out there. This thing will run you about $14. I recommend the Crescent brand. The Crescent brand is, well, who made the uh, crescent wrench in the first place? So stick with the originators. Next up is a pair of scissors. So 
if you aren't into scissors, you're not into, obviously I'm uh, kind of into cutting things. So a nice pair of scissors is like a nice pocket knife. So it's always there when you need it, whether you're opening a box, cutting construction paper, uh, or you know just trying to, oh, I cut fuel line with them, I cut radiator hose with them. These WIS scissors, these WT, or sorry, W10Ts or W10Ts, um, are an awesome scissor. These come in at uh, right at uh, $15. I think they're $14.67 from, uh, from Lowe's. Uh, I think you're also able to get them from Home Depot. Once again, links in the description. Uh, but these are a great pair of scissors. So I highly recommend. I've also done a video on these. I'll try to link everything up. Uh, something else I've done a video on are these Weira Plus, Hex Plus. Um, hex keys, these things are awesome. If you're looking for a nice Allen key set, I highly recommend this Wera. Uh, this set is a little pricey at $40, uh, and you can usually get these from KC Tool. Um, these come from uh, overseas. I think these are a uh, British made product or a German made product. I don't know why I was thinking British, thinking Land Rover. Um, but these Weras are very nice. The fit and finish is uh, bar none. And they're, you know, you could get a cheap set of Husky T-handle, uh, you know, hex keys that, you know, just have a little bit to be desired. I recommend these. Um, these will last you a lifetime. You'll pass them down to your kids. Uh, and if you take good care of your tools and use the right tool for the right job, these will always be in your toolbox. So next up is a screwdriver set. So a Tekton screwdriver set, I think you can get a 25 piece screwdriver set right now from Tekton for 48 bucks. These are awesome screwdrivers. I've done a video on them in the, in the past and they're just awesome. I love the feel, I love the finish, I love the tool steel, I love everything about these screwdrivers and I highly recommend them. They are my go-to screwdriver. I own all kinds of brands. Everything from Snap-on down to Heart from Walmart, uh, all good tool or all good screwdrivers. But I think these take the cake. These are the best looking, the best feel in your hand, and overall, just fit and finish is great. So last thing up on my list is a nice little uh, torpedo level. A torpedo level can be used for all kinds of different things, whether you're running a little bit of plumbing or you're trying to shore up a, a picture frame to make sure it's level in your living room. These can be used for all kinds of different things. And the one I'm always reaching for is this small little Swanson. Now, I also own a couple different little Empire torpedo levels. Um, Klein makes a good one. There's tons of great torpedo levels out there. You buy which one you want. Uh, this one's magnetic and it has the uh, little rib down the end so you can stick it on a pipe. They are used for all kinds of different features or different categories or man, why am I tongue tied? They're used for all kinds of different projects and, and whatever you're doing. So a nice torpedo level is there to help you out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I wanted to make something short and sweet and show you just a couple of tools that I really, really enjoy and I really recommend for you guys. So I have done videos on various things. All the links are in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. That's what it's for. So as always, give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you're subscribed to the channel and you've clicked that subscribe button already, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.